Maggie, Sam, Camille, and oh my God, it was such a long time since I post. I'm sorry, guys. And a lot of you wrote me, what, where am I and what's happening? So I'm sorry for that, for that long time. And uh, I was super busy with new projects that I was wanted to do a long time ago. They're still ongoing, but they towards that end part, which is good, <laughs> good sign. One of the huge projects is Aerial Yoga book. Uh, so for you guys, uh, for the safe practice at home, and another project will be online teacher training. So it's also, as a student, it's good to get that deeper knowledge of aerial yoga in general, about the more stuff to know about it. Or if you want to teach other people and share that aerial magic. And another huge thing for you here in YouTube platform, uh, I'm planning to do the membership system in here. So as everybody needs to eat, don't worry, I will still post free classes occasionally, but most of the database will be under the membership. And in there you will find all kinds of magical things. Uh, so not only tutorials for the tricks and detail and preparation for them, uh, for each body part, if we're concentrating on something, or themed classes or courses, or whatever you would request. And uh, for all of this that I'm working now, you can check uh, all the information down below here under the video, as always, in, in the description. And everything I'm posting on uh, Instagram, so you can follow me up there. Also, I put the short tutorials in Instagram. You can also check them there. And one more thing is a lot of information, I know, but one more thing, uh, it might be useful for you as now it's spring special, 10% uh, off of all the hammock silk sets. So just jump in my website for that. Okay, but other than that, let's concentrate on the class what we arrived here, right? So the whole class will be today not so long, uh, but it's a great, for starting your day to warm up, uh, to get that energized and heat up from your body center. So the class will be concentrated on your core, on your abdominal area, but it will also include the whole actually body. As we know, uh, each movement actually starts from your core. So we need to be strong in that area, uh, in balancing and to be strong. So uh, let's get started. Let's meet down on a mat. Okay, so let's start on all fours. Uh, palms under the shoulders, spread wide, knees, hips apart, under the hip bones. And uh, let's put right foot inside the silk. So just hook it in. Uh, find it? Yeah. Okay, good. So now knees relaxed, foot is active. Let's warm up before we actually go to more vigorous exercises. So cat cow, inhale arch and look up exhale lift your shoulder blades spread them on wide look to your belly and again inhaling opening through the front of your body exhaling and rounding looking down just feel the wideness through your back so a few more inhaling arching exhaling curling in one more time and exhale down Let's add tiger, so extend the back leg and lift up the opposite arm, so the left arm along your air. Inhale here, exhale, bend your opposite elbow to the knee, inhaling, opening and exhaling, curling again. So a little bit adding up balancing and strength, including the core into this movement. Just a few more. And the last one inhaling and exhaling down so let's change the legs so lift up put your uh, left foot inside the sill hook it and right knee just under the hip bone let's uh, bend the left knee for now just relaxed and first of all cat cow so again inhaling arching through the back exhaling and round and extending for shoulder blades inhaling opening through the chest neck is long and exhaling, curling in, lower abdominals in. And again, inhaling, opening. Exhaling, squeeze the belly. Last one. And exhale down. 
adding tiger so extend the back leg and lift your right arm along your ear exhaling and curling try to actually bring your elbow to your left knee inhale again extend exhaling curling even more in inhaling up exhale down and last one and exhale inhale and exhale all the way down to the ground and let's go through some vinyasas to actually get started and moving on throughout the body so extend and straighten your right knee make sure that you're not sinking down okay so if it's really hard to hold the plank better up keep your hips higher but try to re realign into the one straight line through your uh, up, uh, pelvis the whole back through the shoulders neck and the head imagine that you're pushing the floor away from you uh, keep your fingers extended through your knuckles inhale here and exhale let's go to the downward dog so push away press away from the floor pressing down your chest and drawing it to your thigh both legs are extended as much as possible if you feel you're rounding up hunching bend the uh, right knee a bit so that your back would be elongated so the back is more important the leg can be bent but if it's possible try to extend the knee and perhaps push the heel all the way down to the floor so a few breaths in here just awakening more of the shoulder line the whole spine last breath in breathing out and let's go for vinyasa as i promised so inhaling through round back curling and through the wave into the plank and exhaling knee down shift forward and bend your elbows by the sides palms under the shoulders looking forward inhaling and arching through the tiger exhaling and coming back into downward dog and again inhaling through round back as a wave into the plank exhale yogi push-up so knee on the ground elbows in chin chest closer to the ground inhale tiger and exhale downward dog and if you want to add more challenge this time we're not pushing putting the knee down we're keeping more into chaturanga four point plank uh, push-up so inhaling into the plank exhale this time the leg is straight and just bending your elbows one straight line hold your belly hold everything in inhaling upward dog so the leg is still up only the foot is touching the ground and looking up to the ceiling and exhaling downward dog so two variations you can choose for the last round which one you want to do if it's too intense for your back do the first one if you want that challenge do that we did just last round so inhaling through round back through the wave coming into the plank choose your push-up exhaling down inhaling opening through the chest and thigh go up for dog and exhale into the downward dog okay let's change legs so left foot on the ground downward dog so four more rounds four vinyasas two vinyasas let's do those simple ones so inhaling for round back waving through the back exhale knee chest chin inhale tiger opening through the chest exhale on gate through the spine downward dog one more time inhaling through the round back waving through the spine into the plank exhale knee bend your elbows by the rib cage and chin on the ground inhale arching through and exhaling downward dog and last two rounds on your choice either this continue uh, what we just did or inhaling for round back into the plank this time chaturanga so exhale not touching the knee ground just the elbows inhaling upward dog exhaling downward dog and last one 
Inhaling, rounding, rounding, round the vertebra, by the vertebra into a straight line. And exhale, push up. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Two breaths just to catch on into this inner flow of energy. Last breath in. Breathe out. And this time, let's uh, put the left leg into the circle exchange to the right. Okay, so now we will get more concentrated on the core, on the shoulders, on the arms. So throughout that strength, the, out uh, the fire inside the body and stability. Okay, so first, first of all, we're going to bring our knee towards the chest a couple of times continue on so inhaling here exhale into the plank uh, right leg is straight inhale one more time and exhaling knee to the chest inhaling on the ground two more exhaling towards the chest curling in inhaling extend and one more time exhaling squeezing inhaling on the ground but this side Exhaling and try to bring your knee towards your tricep and on the ground. Two more like that to the tricep on the ground. Third one, if you want, you can try to do push up or even extend your leg and coming back into the downward dog. Just catch up your breath. Changing legs. And let's do the same part with the right, uh, sorry, for the left leg. So inhaling into the plank. Three times exhaling and knee towards the chest. Inhaling plank. And again, exhaling, squeezing and rounding through as a little ball. Inhaling plank. Last one. Exhale, curl in. Inhaling to the ground, now the triceps. So exhaling, left knee towards the tricep. Inhaling on the ground. And exhaling again towards the elbow. As high as you can. Don't worry if you can't instantly put it up. If you want more challenge, push up and extend the leg. And coming back to the downward dog. Two breaths. Last one. And this time, let's leave left leg on the ground. Inhaling again to the plank. I know a lot of planks, but I promise I said that there will be fire going. So, in here, exhale and lift your left leg to next to the right foot. Inhale on the ground, but keep everything stable. Keep pressing through the floor while you're lifting your left leg up. Inhaling on the ground. So now inhale here and exhale up. Inhale on the ground. But the second time, we're lifting the leg to the side and then down. So two more like that. Exhale up. Inhaling on the ground. Exhale to the side. Inhale to on the ground. Last one. Exhale up. Ground. Exhale to the side. Inhale on the ground. This time bend your knee. Relax into the pigeon pose finally a little bit of relaxation right so just relax your leg and uh, relax your head relax your shoulders passively stretching through the abdominals and stretching through the hanging right uh quadriceps quad uh, on the thigh through the hip flexor so opening through passively through the hips keep breathing deeply reconnect Feel the sensations in the body, perhaps the upper body be warmed and a little bit maybe tensed. Last breath in, breathing out and lift up. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So palms under the shoulders, spread out through that the wrist won't get tired. 
and lift up your hips, put your left foot in, and take your right foot. Okay, so just get comfortable into your place. Let's go to the plank. Again, squeeze your belly, engage your glutes, the whole body is active, and keep pressing from the floor. So first of all, just lifting up, and then adding to the side leg. So right foot, first of all, inhale here, and exhaling, lifting your right foot by the left, hovering over the floor, inhaling on the ground, exhaling up, inhaling down. And one more time, just for a second. And down. Now adding the sides. And now inhaling here, exhale up, inhale down, exhale to the side, inhale on the ground. Two more like that. Exhaling up, inhaling down, exhale right foot to the right side, and again on the ground. Last one. Exhaling up, inhaling down. Exhale from oblique side muscle strength and down. And relaxing, pigeon pose. Bend your knee next to your wrist and relax the hanging leg. Just the foot is flexed. And relax on your forearms. Keep breathing. And consciously try to slow down the breath. Keeping down and deep. Just a few more moments. Last breath in. Breathing out. And inhaling. Coming up. Okay, so one more huge part. Now we will go with both legs into the silk in preparation for the handstand to feel the axis through the spine and more of the balancing. So let's put both legs, both feet into the silk, hooked, so that flex. Engage the whole bottom body. Feel the legs strong. If through the heels, we're pushing back. Feel the glutes, the core, while the upper body is pressing up and widening through the shoulder blades. Okay, so from here, inhale, lift your hips up, looking in between your wrists, legs straight, and exhale into the plank. Inhaling all the way up, and exhale plank. One more time, inhaling up and down, and adding bending knees. So first of all, just up to the pike, Exhale to the plank and then bend your knees to the chest and again plank. So inhaling into the pike, exhale plank, inhale knees to the chest and exhale plank. One more time, and inhaling into pike and exhale plank and knees to the chest and coming back to the plank. Push up all the way down, yes. Okay, let's stretch out that abdominal area. You can extend your arms forward, chin on the floor. Bend your knees, just feet activated, one slide out of the silk, so that lo passive locust. Now, if you feel too much decompression through your, uh, through your back, lower back, so then scoot a little bit forward, then you will reduce the arch. It would not be so intense. Or if you want more intense, so come back. So would, the legs will lift up and that, uh, or logically it will make the arch bigger, deeper. So whatever it works for you, you can also keep your arms down if you don't want to. Just find that position that works for you. Keep breathing, a little bit swinging through the legs, through the hips. A few more breaths.
Okay, and now let's bring our palms just under the shoulders and take your right leg out of the silk and bend the knee as if you would be a flamingo. But don't worry, it's not very comfortable. We are not gonna be for a long time here. We will turn on our backs into spinal twist. So now just extend your left arm, push away from the floor through the right palm and turn over. And just fix your uh, middle so that you would be still on your mat if your uh, foot in the so a little bit slide like mine, just fix it. Okay, so the right knee still bent. So you can stay here just a little bit, maybe pressing through the left palm, uh, through the right knee down. The other arm is extending into T shape or shoulder height and looking to the opposite side of that extended arm, which is your right. So looking there and spiraling through to twist the core out. And if you want more intensity, you can always just extend your top leg, which is right, and perhaps pushing through the shin or foot and keep breathing. Two big breaths. Last one. And inhaling, coming up, exhaling, bring your leg inside the silk and let's go twisting from the other side. So take your left knee, twist through your pelvis, so a little bit lift it up to twist and then relax it. It might touch the ground, it might hover over the floor, that's fine. Extend your arms or the right palm a little bit holding up the left knee, uh, thigh to push it down. The head or the eye side is looking to the left palm. And if you want more intensity, again, if you did it the previous side, so extend the leg for extra challenge, a little bit extra stretch by pushing through the shin or foot and relax. Feel how the stretch, the spiral. Perhaps the stretch might feel through the waistline, lower back, sciatica nerve. Maybe you will feel through the bottom part of the body, the side, stretch through extended leg and hip. One more breath in, breathing out, and inhale. Come up with the hips up, exhale, foot into the silk, lower down, arms by your sides, and just swing from side to side to a little bit relax. And then take your feet out, hug your shins, and just through the round back, come up, roll forward. Okay, so before uh, we finish uh, and ending the class, let's stretch out the top body, so a little bit of the shoulders, of all the planks and stuff. Uh, so first of all, uh, as you're kneeling through, let's leave the silk behind. Lift your pelvis and put your arms into the silk and lean forward as if you would be into the child pose. So. Our arms, hands uh, is actually a little bit flexed, uh, they don't want to slide out, or if it's not uncomfortable, you just can hold it. I like it more for the wrist, you can just try which, which you would like. And then to open the shoulders, we slowly lifting up. If you, if you feel enough of the stretch for the shoulders, just stay where it's enough of the edge of that stretch intensity. If you want more, if you feel that it's uh, the shoulders let you open more and just start to lean back. So wherever you are, relax your head, your neck, and let the shoulders passively stretch through, perhaps a little bit swinging from side to side. And keep on breathing, that, that inner energy, that inner flow would keep continue going throughout the body. After so much heating up and working out, 
Now it's time to cool down. Okay, and lean forward all the way to slip out your arms off the silk and let's stretch just a little bit through the front completely. So this time wrap around through the side in, uh, in front of the silk towards your face. So hook in your wrists and lean forward one more time into child's pose this time more stretching through the not only shoulders but also rib cage and chest and swing from side to side relax the back And slowly inhale and come up. And uh, that would be it with our practice. And if you wish to a little bit hang out in Shavasana to, you know, let all the information sink in. So just be free and just do it uh, either for a flip or just simply sitting into the silk and a little bit laying down, you know, just coming through into this cozy cocoon and uh, if that's it if you are already ready to continue with your day or evening or morning whichever it is for you now and so i wish you uh, all that heat energy that inner fire that it keeps on going for your uh, not only in your physical body but with your creativity with your passion for life passion for what you're doing so that it, uh, that good uplifting feeling would lead you throughout the day, throughout the week. Okay, so thank you one more time practicing with me. All again, information is down below in the description. Please follow, subscribe, comment. I always wait for your comments and I'm happy to read them. And I see you next time in other videos and other flying experience. So namaste.